I met Mick probably 30 years ago in a beaten down factory somewhere in Keysborough. I can't even remember where it is, but, but the fact is that uh, it was such a long time ago, so I've had a great relationship with Mick over the 30 years. Ever since then, I've, uh, I've uh, had a delight in dealing with Mick and Paul and the Baudry family, and uh, it's just been a great relationship. The part of Mick's journey that inspires me is the fact that um, he's, he's come from a place where he was, was involved in a very severe accident when he was young, but to overcome all of that and build a business the size that Mick has done over those 40 years is just sensational. That, that in itself is just inspiring. I'd just like to congratulate Mick and Paul for making it 40 years in business. To make 40 years in any business is quite remarkable. To do it in the manufacturing industry and then supply to the transport industry makes it even more special. The guys have done a sensational job. They're really nice people to, to work with. Their product is always good. They deliver on, on time, all of the time. And I guess at the end of the day, that means that we trust them. And I do trust them with our business. Well, one of the reasons that we choose the Vaudry product is one, it's a very good, reliable product. If anything does go wrong with the equipment, you know, it's a, they're a phone call away and they'll do everything in their power to rectify the issues that we have. As WA Freight Group, we've got in excess of 100 pieces of, of Vaudry equipment and no doubt that will continue to grow. Yeah, Mick, Paul and the, and the team at Vaudry's, uh, congratulations on the 40 years. It's been a, a fantastic journey for a, for a family business. Uh, you're great people to deal with and hopefully it continues in the future, so well done guys. We started with Vaudry's in 1999 and back then it was just a straight deck, standard taut line of 34 palleter, including Alistair Lang come down to Mildura and sat down with myself and my father and worked out what we wanted and uh, I think at that stage I think we bought two. I think the best thing about Vaudry is their ability to be able to be designed exactly what you need as far as being innovation and we have a lot of specialised stuff um, that freight that we actually have to carry and their Baudry's um, intelligence of engineering has been excellent. I'd just like to congratulate Mick and Paul and their team for uh, the success that they've created in the last 40 years and I hope that they can have just as much success over the next 40 years. What we relate most closely to with Vaudry's is they're obviously a family owned business um, with two generations in the business as our Border Express. Uh, we bought a business in 1998 and they used Vaudry trailers so uh, from I think it was 1998 probably when we bought the business we we met Paul and the uh, relationship's been strong ever since. 40 years in your own business and being successful is a long long time so sincere congratulations from us and a, and a magnificent job and you, and you give us a great product and we're uh, very proud of our association with Vaudry. One of the great things that Mick has is he's got a true belief that um, you can have the greatest skilled people out there, but loyalty means more to him than anything in the world. So he's got people, we've got people that have been here for many, many, many years, and he's been a great role model to a lot of those blokes, and he's helped a lot of blokes out, a lot of blokes that have gone through hard times because they had a rough upbringing, and he's sort of moulded them and given them a chance, and he's one of those guys that, um, you know, you look after me and I'll look after you. Without our clients, without our customers, the over the last 40 years, um, we wouldn't be here. So they're the main reason that, that this business is where it is today. So, you know, thank you very much. Thanks for the last 40 years, and let's hope that um, there's another 40 years. Well, the biggest challenge was work at the start because it took us about four weeks to set the factory up. Then I went out and had to go and see customers and that, which is pretty hard when you're in the wheelchair and you throw it out the car, in and out and all the rest of it. They all said you can't do it in a wheelchair and that was my biggest asset because I worked on the business, not in the business. And too many people, uh, when they start off in a business like this, especially if they work with their hands, they get involved in building the actual trailer instead of standing back and looking what was happening, work on the business, not in it. It was all about keep the customer happy all the time and, and your quality. And that's what we always stuck by, the quality. And, and that leads you on. And if you listen to your customers, they'll lead you on whether you, you know, they'll tell you this is not good enough or that's not good enough or can you improve that or can you build this? And that's what we did. Well, the only reason we're where we are today is through our customers. They've followed us up from when we 
two or three people right through to now we've got 350 odd people throughout Australia working for us. So, and it's, I mean, our customers that have pushed it along and stood behind us and they could probably buy a lot cheaper off a lot of our opposition, especially the Chinese. But I think they want quality and I think it's downtime's the main thing. If you have a lot of downtime, your product's not cheap anyway. It looks out dearer. So they've been very good to us. Everybody has.